Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another SLG Meetup. I hope everybody's doing phenomenal today. We're going to be having with us the one and only Jimmy Wyden to tell us a little bit about what is going on in the luxury real estate in Marbella. He's the CEO and founder of 3SA Estate Marbella and he's going to be exactly going through one of the most luxurious homes that are currently in the market, explain us what is going on there, why is the demand still going up and see what we can do in here to really leverage the real estate business when it comes to the current situation that we are all facing. So very excited about having him here today and I hope All right, what's going on? Super Jimmy? happy to join. No, it's going good. There it's going go. good. Sun is shining <clears throat> as always yes. down here. We uh, you can, we you have always uh, looking fresh. Uh, yeah, I, actually, I never get uh, I, I never get more tan uh, either. Uh, so <laughs> uh, I, I have this uh, I have the same uh, skin tone uh, year round more or less. But but we have around uh, 300, uh, 310 sunny days per year, which is amazing. Um, so, um, it's, it's a huge privilege, uh, to live here and uh, worst case scenario, it's around 13, 14 degrees in the shade. Uh, so plus sun, uh, we reach about 20. So no, it's, not bad, it's nice. not bad. <laughs> in the summer, it's too hot though, but well, it, listen, it's okay. I mean, we're here in Miami and we kind of like have the same situation. Although I will say that if I move back to Spain, it will be Marbella. It's one of my favorite places in Spain. It's so beautiful throughout the entire year. And yes. I mean, definitely look at you. You are always looking good. I see you on Instagram, <laughs> the nice car, yeah. the nice uh, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's all a facade. <laughs> uh, but it's a, it's a good life. No, I'm I like kidding. It. I'm I kidding. like it. I'm kidding. No, but this is good. So thank you for joining us. I know that mm -hmm. there has been a lot of things going on when it comes to real estate in Marbella. Mm -hmm. You are the CEO and founder of 3SA Estate Marbella. You definitely work with some of the most high-end properties in the area. So tell us a little bit about you. How did you end up in Marbella and building such a strong presence when it comes to high-end real estate? <clears throat> Yeah, um, actually, I come from the from the TV industry. Uh, I was very young when I got one of the best jobs you can have uh, working with uh, advertisers in uh, TV programs and TV commercial. Uh, so I was there for for thirteen years, and um, on the side, I studied uh, real estate in Sweden, which is com something completely different compared to most countries in the rest of the world. Uh, you need the three years education. I didn't take that, but I took the, the literature uh, just to learn. And then I was uh, buying and selling properties on the side, <coughs> uh, working with TV. Uh, and uh, I ended, ended up in Marbella because have snow uh, year round uh, no we don't um, and um, yeah, it, it's, uh, it was because I realized that the digitalization would make it possible for people to live wherever they want in the whole world so if you look at most people in the Nordic countries uh, Nordic countries of Europe obviously I understood many years ago that when digital meetings will become uh, legit as a first and last meeting, uh, people will take the opportunity to, um, to live somewhere else with better weather. Um, so um, that's basically why I, I took the decision to um, transform uh, my life moving down here, but also to take my knowledge from marketing into the real estate industry down here that was many, many years behind where I uh, thought it should have been. Uh, I, so I that, that, that was the reason. It's a, it's a great background, by the way, and I love the way that you think because that's a pioneer entrepreneurship mindset. You are not just looking for your own type of lifestyle, but you're also believing in something which obviously is happening right now. So you're bringing the demand and the knowledge and the value that you have into real estate in Marbella and you're bringing so many opportunities for many people that are looking for a higher quality lifestyle. So I think that's Thank amazing. You. 
No, thank you so much. And, and uh, I appreciate uh, a lot to hear that people really like our marketing. Um, basically, what we try to do is communication on the receiver's demands. So we try with the marketing to show uh, our potential clients that this is how your life could be. And um, instead of just selling properties, we are trying to um, the lifestyle to he help the client with with everything around. Mm -hmm. For them and their no, that's great. So it's lifestyle centric, which is great. I think it makes the whole experience of looking into a property much more enjoyable because you really picture yourself how your life is going to be you know that you count with an entire team like yourself and your team that is going to be helping them with whatever they need and i think that's the way that real estate is heading especially now with the tools that we have to really present the product and build a story yeah. around it in such a unique way i love the way that you present the properties and the way that you do it with that lifestyle angle so I want to congratulate you on that. I'm a Thank big you. fan of the way that you present your properties and yeah, the brand overall. So I'm definitely encouraging everybody to take a look at what you guys do because it's really good and it's a pleasure for the eye as well, you know, for those that are in the real estate industry. You almost, almost make me blush. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on. You yeah, yeah. Fantastic. So oh, Jimmy, but... just let me ask, let me ask you this because yep. I also come from a marketing background and I really understand the importance of building brands, mm -hmm. doing collaborations, doing the great storytelling exposure. And now obviously with this year that we've been facing through the pandemic, yeah. a lot of people have been leaning more towards the digital presence, jumping more into social media. How has that been for you in regards to your business? This last year. Um, well, of course, uh, Corona came uh, very uh, like the, I didn't expect that. I had everything in my business plan calculated, but but I <laughs> didn't have this. Uh, <laughs> right. So uh, it, it came for us also with the worst possible timing, to be honest. Uh, so in April last year, I was we had lockdown down here. We couldn't even go out with the trash cans. Uh, so I ex actually flew uh, home to, to Sweden um, and uh, I was working from there doing my best to, um, uh, to save the company, to be honest. It, it was a really, really, really tough uh, mm -hmm. time. Uh, but we did some really smart moves and we came out of it uh, in total 93% up above 2019 uh, year's result. And a lot of the reason for that was because we were um, uh, focusing a lot with the marketing at the right places and also with the right properties because I realized that um, rich people would become richer and that they wanted to distance themselves from these segregations, no matter nationality. Uh, so I realized that uh, uh, villas from uh, around 2 million euro and up would increase a lot in demand. And that's actually what happened. So we got perfect effect on all our marketing and, uh, and we came out uh, of this uh, really, really good. Um, but basically what happened was <clears throat> based on what I said from the beginning with digital meetings, Corona has made this uh, six, seven years ahead of its time. So um, of course, Corona is not in any way good. But when it comes to what I uh, tried to explain with digital meetings, this has increased, uh, th this has speeded up the process six years, more or less, mm -hmm. for people to be able to live wherever they want. So uh, this year, I expect that um, our sales will go sky high, to be honest. Well, that's amazing. I hope so as well. I think Marbella is a beautiful and amazing destination, especially because of what you're saying. You're seeing that the people that can afford this type of properties are looking for more secluded places. Marbella offers a beautiful lifestyle and the way that you can present it through homes is very unique. So I think that yeah. you're in the right direction. Definitely wishing you all the best. Now, I see that you got a 5.9 million mansion in La Sagaleta, one of the most exclusive areas. So tell us a little bit on how you will position this property. Well, La Sagaleta is um, 
from my point of view, it's for sure the coolest place um, uh, down here when it comes to communities. Uh, it's only 400 potential plots inside Sagaleta, and it's only 238 finished uh, villas uh, constructed. Mm -hmm. uh, it started in the 90s. And um, what's going on right now is that uh, security and, and distance, unfortunately, in the, in the segregation in the world will increase a lot. So um, in Sagaleta, the demand is higher than ever now. Uh, from from these uh, this clientele of people that wants to have a really secure community and um, uh, also a very exclusive community. So <clears throat> this villa will sell itself by reaching the right clientele of clients. Uh, mm -hmm. But three, four years ago, it was much more complicated to sell inside Sagaleta because uh, clients thought that it was a little bit too far away from 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 restaurants from the from the beach uh, things like this but uh, now because of everything that happened the last 12 months in the world people instead feel it's it's comfortable to have a big plot big house um a little bit away from everything uh, oh, absolutely so, that's that's great i mean that's like Aleta is one of its kind of a neighborhood and i definitely believe that those that have the ability and the financials to afford a property mm -hmm. in there are going to look into there. They just need to see these properties. And um, I think that the yeah. way that you market those properties is what makes a difference. Now, from the lifestyle standpoint and also the product, you know, related, it's a, it's a beautiful mm -hmm. combination of luxury. However, yeah. the word luxury sometimes is, you know, presented differently or perceived differently. So I always like to ask this question and from somebody that, live this luxurious lifestyle, you know, the nice cars, always zoos, nice homes. What yeah. is really luxury to you? I would say time, uh, which probably no one else has answered before. Um, <laughs> the last thing I have in life is time. I'm working a lot uh, to help our clients to fulfill their dreams. And of course, I do it in an environment that, that I love and that I think is amazing. And, and, and I really love what I'm doing for a living. Uh, but <clears throat> having time and having the opportunity to be with friends and family and really enjoy the life down here is something I actually really haven't done since I moved down here because I'm working too, so much. But, um, sure. but that's luxury for me. It's, um, it's, and also in addition to this, having the opportunity now to actually live and work wherever you want with what you are doing instead of needing to sit in a car queue and um, uh, have two hours just going to the office every morning uh, because that's not really luxury. Um, it's, uh, it's the True. opposite. Um, that's, so, that's a um, good one. Yeah, I, I think, you know, healthy lifestyle and having more and more time is something that we will see uh, will be worth a lot for people. It's something that, that will increase. Uh, I would say 10 years ago, it was super fashion to, to say, no, no, I have so much to do and I have uh, 200 emails per day or I have seven meetings per day. It, it was more, more or less a cool factor or, or, or a fashion. Um, so totally, it, totally. That's, so, that's so on point. Yeah. So, so that's luxury for me, having time and having the opportunity to be with friends and, and family. And uh, of course, living down here is a paradise. You're from Madrid, so, so you know. Um, this, mm -hmm. uh, this place is uh, it's really, really amazing. Oh my God. I mean, I'm in love with Marbella. I used to go every summer. You know, I was in Madrid. We don't have a beach. So where do yeah. we go? You know, we have to circle around the country and Marbella was always a destination. We yeah. had a place there. We've been enjoying every summer since in Marbella. And now that I'm in Miami, even when I come back to Spain, make quick pit stop in Madrid yeah. and go to Marbella. I love it. There. So good, good. Definitely. I look forward to see you next time you, you're coming here. Yeah, definitely we'll connect once we are there. And also, if you are coming to Miami, which is another hot real estate market yeah. right now, 
I heard hey, it's going uh, crazy, but honestly, I'm not surprised because it's going crazy based on exactly the same terms same as term. I just said. Uh, and uh, we we will see uh, we will see a big change in the real estate market. I believe in Marbella, I believe in Dubai, I believe in Miami, and many other places. I think will go dead more or less. Um, so uh, it's going to be a huge segregation and, and a huge throne shift, let's say. Um, mm -hmm. So um, it's, it's interesting times, but it's also a disaster, everything that has happened for, for most, uh, most people. So uh, it, it's really not funny. Um, I mean, uh, in, in Marbella, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll uh, stay, uh, stay uh, on a high level, but many places in Spain have suffered and, and will suffer many years after after this uh, because of what happened. Well, I think that now, since we are all so connected through the digital technology, I believe that it's an easier way to help each other, to really raise up. And, you know, at the end of the day, there is always Miami and Marbella to, to go and, and live yeah. another life. So <laughs> we always welcome people here, right? No, no but what? you should affect what you can affect. Uh, that's basically mm -hmm. what, what I've been saying after everything you can have so many opinions and and everything around corona i think instead affect what you can affect and do the best you can every day uh, to to uh, get your situation best possible uh, instead of walking around thinking too much about what's actually going on etc i mean it's pointless because you cannot affect it anyhow true, true. Um, so i was going to ask you for a final takeaway from everybody that is, you know, currently in their business or trying to thrive through. I mean, this is definitely an amazing takeaway. Yeah, and I think that's so. The mindset, that's the mindset to have always, you know, to have control on the things that you can control. And if you cannot control it, don't let it affect you. Do your best. Move forward. And <clears throat> yeah, I mean, smile, in, in the end, the you, you only have yourself. So, uh, I mean, uh, that, that's, it's obvious in the end that uh, try to focus so much as possible on, uh, on doing the best you can every day instead of thinking too much. That's mm -hmm. for sure. It's going to be a winning concept. That's and, great. But, and invest something in Marbella. That's always a great, that, that, there go, great, there go. That, great that's always idea. There we go. Great idea. That's awesome. No, and for everybody that is watching and listening, please make sure you follow Jimmy also, 3SA. They do phenomenal work in Marbella. If you have questions, reach out. And I don't know if you have any final thoughts or comments that you would like to share. Well, I, I, uh, I would like to wish, uh, wish everyone that uh, were listening um, uh, a good day, of course, and, uh, or night or whatever time. Such, such a nice what, what's guy. The time, <laughs> what's the time in, uh, in, Mar in uh, Miami right now? It's right, in the morning, right? right? Yeah, almost 11 a.m. Oh, great. Then you have the whole day to sell something on. I'm, I'm soon going home, you know. My day is <laughs> over. <laughs> there we go. So yeah. go and enjoy the time, the luxury of being with your family and friends. Yeah, I will. Thank you All so right. much. Nice Thank to you, see Jimmy. You. And we'll see each sure. other soon. Take care. Yeah, we do. Cool. Ciao. Bye bye. <clears throat> All right, guys. That was Jimmy, the one and only, the guy that brings you the most incredible homes in Marvea. Hope you guys enjoyed this conversation. Definitely great insights on what is going on in the real estate market in Marbella and also some inspirational elements on how to adapt marketing technology to really thrive through, not just through this pandemic, but in general. So I hope that it was, you know, helpful and inspirational for some of you. And if you have any questions, please reach out and I look forward to seeing you next time. This is Alvaro and I wish you all a beautiful day. And as I always say, keep the beautiful success in life. Bye-bye.